In today's video, I'll be breaking down the four-step toiletry packing system that I've used on dozens of trips. This is going to help ensure that you have everything that you need as well as stay organized throughout your travel. Step one of packing your toiletry bag is going to be the same as step one of packing anything. You're going to want to make a list. I like to do this by going through my day and placing all of the things that I use through the day to one side of my bathroom counter. So in the morning after I wash my face, I'll place my face wash to the side, then whatever creams I put on and then my deodorant or hair cream and even tools like a toothbrush, razor, face towel or an eyelash curler. I'll do the same thing with any shower products as well as any products that I use during my nighttime routine. Before bed, I'll look over everything that I use through the day and then create a comprehensive toiletry packing list. And then step two is to wind this list down to only the essentials. I start by crossing off any items that I don't actually need on my trip. This is going to be different for everyone, but an example for me would be crossing off something like the eyelash curler. Next, I'll take a moment to cross off any items that are going to be provided to me at my destination. If you are staying at a hotel, usually shower products like soap, shampoo, body wash, and towels are going to be supplied for free. Your list should now be narrowed down to the things that you actually need and that you will not be getting for free at your destination. Hang on to this list. Even if you only travel once a year, it's going to be great to reference in the future. Let us know down in the comments if you also find that packing your toiletry bag is the most challenging and annoying part of any packing. I always procrastinate and it ends up taking me way longer than I would expect. Step three is going to require grabbing a highlighter and then highlighting any gel, creams, paste, or liquidy products that are on your list and are in a container that is larger than 3.4 ounces. These highlighted products are the ones that you are going to need to dispense into smaller travel size containers if you do intend to bring them through TSA airport security. For me, this is usually just going to be sunscreen and face wash. Remember, you can bring one quart size plastic bag per passenger through airport security. Inside of this bag, you can pack as many 3.4 ounce or smaller containers that you want as long as each container fits into the single clear plastic bag and the bag is able to close. If you can easily fit all of your liquid containers into this single clear plastic bag, then that is great. But if you can't, here are a few hacks that you can try. Pack your containers horizontally to save space. Some containers also have large, bulky lids that you can take off and pack separately. It's also fun to swap liquid products for solid state alternatives like a bar of face wash or a sunscreen stick. Consider a solid deodorant as well since those that are gel or roll-on are going to need to be put in your liquids bag. And if you do bring a bar of soap, remember to throw a plastic bag inside of your toiletry bag as well because once you use that soap, if you have a plastic bag to put it in, you will be able to continue traveling with it. I'll also soak up liquids like makeup remover or nail polish remover onto cotton pads and then place those in separate clear plastic bags. Cotton pads that are soaked in liquids are no longer considered liquids and they are not going to count towards your carry-on liquid restriction. You can pack these and not even take them out at TSA. And if you are traveling with a partner or with a child, see if they have any extra space in their liquids bag. It's going to be one liquids bag per passenger, but the liquids in those bags don't necessarily have to all be your own. If after trying these hacks, you find that you still have too many liquid items that cannot be replaced with a solid state alternative and will not be provided for you at your destination, you're going to want to prioritize what you bring based on how expensive or how difficult it would be to purchase those items during your trip instead of packing them. The expensive face cream that you like to use every night may be difficult or expensive to purchase while you are on your trip, but then something like a tube of toothpaste would be easy to purchase and inexpensive to purchase, so you would want to pack the face cream and leave things like the toothpaste behind. And if it comes to a point where you find you just have too many essential liquids, consider checking a bag. You are completely free to pack as many liquids in whatever sized containers that you want inside of your checked baggage. There are a few restrictions and I will link to a short video in the description on what you are not allowed to pack in a checked bag. By now you should have all of your tools and products ready for step four, which is actually packing them into a toiletry bag. I like to use a hanging toiletry bag. 
Being able to hang a toiletry bag on the back of an airplane bathroom door where there is no counter space is going to be game changing to actually being able to access those items. Or even in hotels where counter space is limited. As for what goes into your toiletry bag, the good news is that regular disposable and reusable razors, razor head replacements, most hair tools including hair curlers and hair straighteners, nail clippers, small nail scissors, hair clips, pins, and even tweezers are allowed in your toiletry bag and can be taken through airport security and with you onto the airplane without you even needing to take them out of your luggage. The only thing that you need to take out and put into the TSA bin for separate screening is the clear plastic bag of your creams, gels, pastes, and other liquidy products. Since I'm going to need to take this TSA liquids bag out for security screening, I will pack it into an easily accessible pocket in my personal item backpack before going to the airport. And then once I've gone through the airport security screening, instead of putting it back in my personal item bag, I will put it with the rest of my toiletries in my toiletry bag. And when it comes to packing my toiletry bag, I actually like to unzip it and lie it flat as the last thing that I pack in my rolling carry-on suitcase. This tends to save the most space. I have a short video on what you are not allowed to pack in a carry-on bag and another video on what you are not allowed to pack in a checked bag that are linked in the description for you to watch next. My name's Megan and I would love to see you subscribe for more travel tips and hacks next week. Safe travels. Bye.